Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, y'all. I hope my, my signal isn't spotty. Um, I'm coming to you with a quick live video on a quick lunch for kids with food allergies. My daughter is allergic to milk, eggs, and nuts, and so am I. And today is Pizza Friday, and she wants pizza like everybody else. So, um, I have some items from Giant. I got this stuff at Giant that we can do her pizza with. So, we've got a little round personal pan pizza we're making here. This is Mama Mary's pizza crust. It's actually not refrigerated. Um, I got this in the deli section at Giant. Um, so this is, um, it says it contains wheat, so it doesn't have milk, eggs, or nuts, but it does have soy because um, it uses soybean oil, um, and of course it's not gluten-free. So for her cheese, I'm using Daya mozzarella cheese. It's um, dairy-free, soy-free, so we'll have that for her cheese. And then we're using good old Hormel pepperoni. So, oh, I forgot my brush. Looking for my, um, my little brush. I'll just use a spoon, I guess. Can't find it right now. So I'm gonna rub her pizza though. Let me with some uh, good morning, Nay. <laughs> I'm gonna rub her pizza though here with some olive oil. Still fell apart, my goodness. For the pizza. I meant to look for my little oil spreader before I got started, but I forgot. Okay. I'm gonna put oh, can you see this? Come this way. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna put some pepperoni on here. Put a few pieces under before I add the cheese because um she doesn't always like to eat the pepperoni, so you hide them in there. She needs more than just cheese and bread. Then I have her Daya dairy-free cheese here. I'm gonna put some of that on later. Good. Oh, you know what? I forgot one ingredient. I'll just do it now. So to spice it up a little bit, you can put some McCormick Italian season on here. sprinkle a little of that. Give it a little extra flavor. All right, let's give her some more cheese. So this is actually a quick breakfast, I mean not breakfast, a quick lunch you can make in the morning so she can have fresh pizza at lunch at school. So I'm gonna add her some pepperoni on top. Perfect, perfect. And see, it's already done. Just that quick. You know, I actually cook her breakfast, her uh, lunches in the morning before I go to work, which is crazy. But you got to do what you got to do when you have kids with allergies. All right, into the oven that goes. So that actually shouldn't take long to cook. The pizza dough says it takes um, seven to nine minutes um, at 450 degrees. I no, 425. I put it at my oven at 420, a little five minute, five degrees lower because sometimes artificial or alternative cheese takes a little longer to melt. But they've gotten better at uh, melt, making food that melt, uh, cheese that melts better though. So while that's cooking, because it's not going to take long, I'll just do something else. So I'm going to um, 
How y'all doing? I saw you post your lovely Valentine's Day stuff this morning, Nay. I'm gonna sign, uh, I got Valentine's Day cards for my daughter. I'm starting something I shouldn't keep up. I got her a Valentine's Day card from the Pet Scout. Yes, I did. It says, hi, I'm the Valentine's hamster. <laughs> it says, it's so funny though. Don't laugh. This is the way the Easter Bunny got started. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's funny. So. This is, um, I'm going to be kind of celebrating Valentine's Day myself today. I got my daughter. She's going to be Got her own little Valentine's thing going on. And I, um, I'm going to be here doing some other stuff, getting a break. And then, look. I'm still going to celebrate myself, right? You got to celebrate yourself. I already got me some, um, little long stem strip chocolate dipped strawberries. Going to make me some tea or something and chill out. everybody has a great day today but again so let me tell you those ingredients again so I was making allergy friendly pizza because it's pizza day at school and my daughter is allergic to milk eggs and nuts but she wants pizza like everybody else so I already had the pizza in the oven and I um I use these little personal size round pizzas from Mama Mary's and then um I sprinkle a little Italian seasoning on it. I forgot to see if you can see that. Sorry. Mama Mary's. And then I use the Daya's mozzarella. Now, I like the Great Heart alternative cheese, but my daughter likes this Daya mozzarella, so I use that. And then good old Hormel pepperoni. So. That is cooking in the oven. I got her this good. Am I breaking up, Nate? Is my signal good? Because this is my first kind of live here. some plastic. I can't even get it out. Good grief. Hey, Cousin Lamonzo. How you doing? Oh, shoot. I done put Love Mom from the car from the hamster. Doggone it. Well, I'm safe from mom and scout. Fix that up just like that. <laughs> Man, try to do something special and cute and just mess it up. Multitasking. I'm making lunch. I'm signing. Valentine's Day cards, rotating laundry. You know how we do. Uh oh, piece of smell done. Let me see. Nope, needs to brown a little more. Oh, I got another suggestion. Instead of using the mom's, um, Mama Mary's pizza crust, you can use, uh, Pillsbury crescent roll dough sheet. 
not crescent, it's a crescent, but it's a dough sheet. So you can make your own flatbread pizza or make it a circle if you want, whatever you want to do with it. But they're, um, these are actually also milk, egg, and nut free, believe it or not. It only has wheat, so that means, you know, so it's not gluten free. And it also has soy. So a lot of things that my daughter can eat, I can't eat because I have a soy allergy. But she can eat it because it's milk, egg, and nut free. But I'm milk, egg, and nuts, and soy. So, but I actually prefer that crust. Um, someone else recommended me the small Mama Mary's. But it's perfect because it's already in a circle. It's a little perfect her size. You don't waste dough. You know, because of that whole pizza roll from from Pillsbury, I'm not going to use that whole pizza roll. Now, sometimes I'll eat, make myself the same stuff that I'm making her for lunch, but not all the time. I should have looked at my clock to see how long it's been to see if it really is only seven to nine minutes on this thing. trying to join me? I saw your face pop up there. I couldn't, uh, I touched it. Yeah. But I hope everybody have a great day. It's so funny. My daughter last night, she was like, Mommy, you gotta rinse your mouth when you lick the envelope. I'm like, well, why even lick it? Just wet your finger and wipe it over the, the sticky strip. Because she was doing her car for her dad. And, um, so she was, she had already licked it. She was in the bathroom spitting and rinsing her mouth. Matter of fact, I was about to lick this one. Let me do, take my own advice, right? Just put a little water on it and stick it on there. You don't have to lick it. Stuff is too germy these days. Be putting your mouth on a piece of paper from the store. All right, I got her also some um, some cute little cuddly. Oh, cuddly. oh, Nate, this made me think about the twins giving them one of these little cuddly things. So, hey, Keith. But, yeah, so I'm going to get her some. I forgot to get her candy. So I have to go to Whole Foods to get her some candy because she can't have regular chocolate. I have to get the chocolate that doesn't have the milk in it but then now she got so she don't really care for chocolate so i'm going to try to find her some kind of candy because she made a comment that i love valentine's day because you get candy and i was like oh i actually wasn't getting her no candy this year so i guess i'm gonna have to get her some candy before i come home right <laughs> oh it's pieces it's bubbling it's almost there I want to let it brown a little more. But uh, hey, cousin Keith, I was um, you just tuning in? I was showing a short, um, doing a short live on how to make pizza for your kid that has food allergies. Because my daughter is allergic to milk, eggs, and nuts. And uh, so I was, you know, doing a live on that. So I'm gonna start doing videos on these different little tips because I'm not the only one dealing with this and. Um, at first, it could be really stressed out. It's like, milk, eggs, and nuts. What the heck she gonna eat? That's everything. <laughs> but I'm eight years in. So, we got it together. 
Um, but yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Let this pizza brown a few minutes. So this only took me, it took me about what? Five minutes to put it together. Not even. Not even five minutes on the video. I just like pre-prepped pre -prepped and opened up the little bags and put the cheese in the bowl and all that, which you wouldn't normally do. So it really won't take you about three minutes, right? You know, three minutes, throw your little pieces together, throw it in the oven, then go do something else. Normally I'll be, you know, like making the rest of her lunch, you know, putting her water bowl in the bag, some napkins and all that you know, for lunch while the food's cooking or getting her ready or something. But because also with her allergies, it's like I had to send everything she need to school because she's not allowed to go back to the food area because she sits at the nut allergy table. So one day I was telling her to um, just, you know, I sent her something and she wanted ketchup. I was like, just go get the ketchup from the um you know the condiment stand mom can't go back there we're not allowed because i sit at the nut table i'm like Ugh, really so i didn't realize okay so now i have to, she needs i need to send everything spoon fork condiments napkins whatever she need so she didn't have to go back to where the regular food is so something very interesting logistics you got to do All right, this is looking deliciously yummy. Hold up, can I get it? Let's see here, come like that. Something ain't working with my, log my logistics here. This pan is hot. All right, there we go. Hold on. Work this out. Got my little finger things. All right. That looks good, huh? Cheese melted nice. Toasted bread, toasted um pepperoni. This is gonna be so good. She'll talk volumes about it. Love y'all. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta go to work. <laughs>